legal counsel. I also met with Sheriff Mercurimi yesterday to give him the opportunity to resign. I informed him of my intent to fulfill my duties pursuant to the charter and moved to suspend and remove him from official from the office for official misconduct. He has chosen not to resign and now I must act. I have asked the city attorney to prepare the appropriate documents and notify the Board of Supervisors and the Ethics Commission. I have informed the sheriff that he will be served charges tomorrow. As public officials, our first responsibility must always be to fulfill the obligations entrusted to us by the people of San Francisco, and we must always be held to the highest legal and ethical standards. Sheriff Mercurimi's actions and confession of guilt clearly fall below these standards of decency and good faith rightly required of all public officials. I take this action with every conviction that I am doing what is in the best interests of the people of San Francisco and acting on a firm legal basis. To that end, I will be appointing longtime law enforcement veteran Vicki Hennessy as sheriff upon the suspension of Sheriff Mercurimi. For the past 35 years, she has served the Sheriff's Department, most recently as Chief Deputy. She has served as the Director of our Department of Emergency Management. She is well respected in our law enforcement community, and I am confident that Vicki Hennessy will provide a stabilizing leadership presence at the Sheriff's Department. I know she will support our deputies and staff in the department who have been working diligently to continue the good work of our Sheriff's Department. Uh, please, Vicki, if you will. Thank you. <clears throat> I know I stand before you today amidst difficult times for the city and especially for the Sheriff's Department. I'm very grateful for the confidence of Mayor Lee in asking me to return to public service and lead the department. I have great respect for all the members of the department and truly feel honored to lead and support them as they carry out their duties. I look forward to working with the Sheriff's Department staff, the city criminal justice leaders and others to best serve the people of San Francisco. Thank you, Vicki. I want to thank you for agreeing to return to public service at this important time. I know you will work hard to restore the people's trust in the office of the sheriff and support the hard-working men and women of your department with the kind of leadership they and the people of San Francisco deserve. Thank you. And you've been watching San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee live here in the mayor's office as the mayor has just announced that he has suspended Sheriff Ross Mercurimi. And in fact, uh, the announcement then uh, turned to what we are now learning is the appointment of an interim sheriff, Vicki Hennessy, a veteran of the Sheriff's Department, and in fact uh, has been a chief deputy for some time. Uh, as Ken pointed out, the first card was played by Mercurimi. The mayor just played the next card, which is suspension. And now what happens next? We've been talking about this, but let me just review it for you. Uh, an ethics commission hearing will resume, right? Then, following the ethics commission hearing, they will make a recommendation to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. At that point, there will be a vote. And nine of the 11 supervisors have to vote to oust the sheriff before that can happen. So if you get eight supervisors, that's not enough. So at this point, the ball is, as the mayor put it, in the, in, in the next phase. Uh, and uh, essentially, the city will now be in a bit of a turmoil, as the sheriff has been deposed for now. There will be an interim sheriff. And now we could see this ethics commission hearing resume within perhaps days, perhaps weeks. And you could see the circus begin all over again. You could see everything from that video or perhaps stills of the video. You could see ex-girlfriends being brought back in to testify against the sheriff. So, you know, bottom line, folks, the next chapter has begun in what has been a very dramatic saga here at City Hall. Now, Joe, once these proceedings get underway and it's, as you said, the ball is in the Ethics Commission's court, how long is that going to take? Any word on is, is there a cap on how long the sheriff can be suspended from his office? There's not a cap. 
And very interesting. History proves to be a very rough guide. I mean, in the past, for example, just a few years ago, there was a supervisor suspended, uh, Ed Chu, and you may remember that was back in 2007. And, and the Ethics Commission hearing took weeks, perhaps as many as six weeks, if memory serves right, before they could even figure out which direction to go. And by then, he just called it quits and, and uh, was fired, essentially. So... Uh, that you could see that go on for weeks, perhaps into next month or the next. All right, Joe Vasquez at City Hall. Thank you.